Good morning. Let the sun lift your head up in hope. And you know the sun I mean is the Son of God. S-O-N, the Son of God, Jesus. And this is a place in Scripture where it talks of Jesus as being a star. <laughs> Just like that sun behind me is a star, shining bright, lifting our head in hope showing us the way, showing us light. Jesus shows us the way. And I want to tell you, you can make it through this day. There is a way. And that way is Jesus Christ. Come to Him. Come to the Word of God, which is the words of Jesus. And He will lift your head in hope. And Jesus is mentioned, I believe, as a, a star in Scripture. That because, because He guides us, in our life, he brightens our life. He shows us the way to life, eternal life. And here's some scriptures. I've shared this before, and it comes out of the birth narrative of Jesus Christ. And it talks in Matthew 2, verse 1, I begin. Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men, from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? We, for we saw his star when it rose, and have come to worship him. So this star that rose points to one who should be worshipped, and only God is to be worshipped. And it helps us to see that Jesus is God, God the Son. And He will rule forever as these scriptures also are talking about Jesus being the King of the Jews. And why do you, well, of course God moved in these wise men and God created, I believe, a star in the sky to guide them, these wise men, to the place where Jesus was a young child at that time when the wise men saw Jesus as a young boy. And this was all foretold more than a thousand years earlier about a star. And, and I, I'm thinking that God gave uh, that scripture to these wise men. They saw this scripture so they knew that there was one coming who would be king of the Jews. And this scripture comes from a God moving a Moses more than a thousand years early to, to write in the book of Numbers that we have now an account of a man named Balaam that was hired by a man named Balak to actually curse the people of God, the Israelites the people from whom Jesus would come from, the lineage from which Jesus would come from. And this is taken from Numbers chapter 24, verse 10, I begin. And Balak's anger was kindled against Balaam, and he struck his hands together, and Balak said to Balaam, I called you to curse my enemies. Uh, this Balak was calling the people of Israel, God's people, his enemy. And he said, I called you to curse my enemies, and behold, you have blessed them these three times. <laughs> and, and Balaam tells him that I can only speak what the words God gives me. He says this back down in, let's see, verse uh, 13. What the Lord speaks, that I will speak. And now behold, I am going to my people. Come, I will let you know what this people will do to your people in, in the latter days. And he's talking uh, about what the people of Israel will do to the enemies of God in later days. So Balaam goes on to this word given to him by, by God. And verse 15 of chapter 24 of Numbers, I begin. And he took up his discourse and said, this is what Balaam uh, said by, by God moving him. 
And he took up his discourse and said, The oracle of Balaam, the son of Beor, the oracle of the man whose eye is opened, the oracle of him who hears the words of God and knows the knowledge of the Most High, who sees the vision of the Almighty falling down with his eyes uncovered. I see him. In this hymn he's talking about, he's prophesying about the coming of Jesus Christ and coming into this world, being born as a baby. And I see him, but not now. I behold him, but not near. A star shall come out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel. And this all goes along, this prophecy of the coming of Jesus Christ to be born as a baby, in which uh, the wise men were going to come and see Jesus as a young child, when they actually got to him at that time, he was a young child, not just a baby. This goes along also with the prophecy that Matthew spoke about on how Jesus, the Christ to be born, was going to be born in Bethlehem as foretold in the book of Micah. Approximately 700 years before the birth of Jesus Christ to the Virgin Mary. And that was part of Matthew chapter 2, verse 6. It says, And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. That fits in with the words that Moses wrote from God the words that Balaam spoke from God, saying, I see him, but not now, I behold him, but not near. A star shall come out of Jacob, all right? And a scepter shall rise out of Israel. A scepter is what a king has to rule. And Jesus rules, and he is the one who will sh is in control and will make a way for us, whatever our situation in life is. So keep your eyes on Jesus, the author of our salvation. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Oh soul, are you weary and troubled? No light. For a look at the Savior And life more abundant and free Turn your eyes upon Jesus Turn your eyes upon Jesus Look for that you came from glory, you came out of heaven to die on a cross, to pay the penalty for our sins. We thank you, Jesus, for dying in our place.
bearing our sin, taking the punishment of death we deserve for our, for our sins and being killed in our place to pay the penalty for our sin, to purchase our forgiveness with your death. And thank you that you rose from the dead to live as conqueror of death, conqueror of evil. And Lord God, you conquer all the evil that may come upon us in our life and that whatever despair we have in our life, you are the conqueror over all that, Lord God. We turn to you, we bring our eyes to you who gives us victory in your victory, Lord God, the creator of us in this world, the stars, the moon, may it always lift us to praise you and rejoice in you for the joy of the Lord is your strength, the Bible tells us. You tell us in your word, Lord God. We turn from our sin, Lord. We turn to you, Jesus. Live in us. Rule our life and guide us to read your word and to speak to you about everything to help us go on in this life. For help us to know, Lord God, that it's, it's not life that we would ever want to end. It's just the pain of living. And you, God, show us the way through the pain of living. For you are the way, the truth, and the life, Jesus. We come to you for our life. In Christ's name we pray. Your name we pray, Jesus. Amen. Remember, Jesus loves you. You can make it through this day. There is a way. And always say, tell yourself, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for being with me.